Clear Signs of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for the next 48 hours. So I hope everybody's doing good. I want to thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, all of the support. I appreciate all of it. Shh, baby. Shh. Sorry, there is a cat that is kind of loud sometimes. And then she goes into the bathroom and stays there for a minute until it gets out of her system. All right. So, calling in Cancer Spirit Guides, Angels, Higher Self, Higher Power. Let's get messages. That's for Cancer's greatest good. Always for the greater good. <clears throat> Alright, Cancer, let's see what, what do we have already. This is, by the way, oh, my favorite card. That's my favorite card. This is a combination of sacred signs and symbols in the Epiphany deck. And they're, they're from Etsy. I think it's called Serendipity Tarot Store or something like that. They're good cards. They're really um, modern. I like how modern they are. So, scissor, cutting out something or severing ties, cutting out or severing ties, choosing the right path for us. Doesn't it seem kind of religious? I don't know. It just, it just seems religious. Maybe I'm just associating righteous and path or something. I don't you know. It feels like religion, though. Um, let's see. Deep, dark times in isolation. I need time alone. Reminiscing on past precious moments. Oh, nostalgia. Ready to surrender. So letting go of the need to control the outcome or the way that a situation is handled. Fairy tales do exist. Struggling to overcome self-imposed beliefs. So there's something that you believe is either possible or not possible. And either way, there is, um, you know, there's the saying, there's the man that says he can and the man who says he can't, and they're both right. So <clears throat> when you go into something, you have to be ready to surrender uh, for your highest good so that your soul can come and work through you um, so that your angels can help you. And that ends up helping everybody with your gifts because I do believe Probably a lot of people that watch uh, tarot have spiritual gifts to themselves. Maybe this is like a community to grow those gifts. All right. So angel number messages. What do we have for our cancers? Anything else? Cutting something out. Finding. It says choosing the right path for us. So it doesn't say for I. It says for us and then it says fairy tales do exist maybe somebody else has doubts maybe what you're doing has been called something similar to a fairy tale wanting wishful thinking but i don't think it is i think when i see that i definitely know that some, oh <laughs> something is gonna happen um for the good <clears throat> Nine, nine, it's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. I am courageous. Nine, nine, I'm courageous. And then we have 77. It is time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. I'm courageous. I am brave. All right, we're going to get the Urban Tarot to do a Celtic cross spread today. I think we have room for it. They're kind of big cards, but I like them. And I do take reversals with the Urban Tarot. Okay, this is a general Celtic cross. What is the issue? What is the issue with Cancer, please, Spirit? And of course, thank you. What's the issue with our Cancers? <clears throat> Having to balance emotions. Maybe they feel a little bit off balance. 
maybe our emotions fell off balance or maybe we're going to somebody who's mentoring us on how to be you know the director of your life starring in your play it's something that you enjoy so experiencing everything on all different levels but being able to control those aspects of ourself that even include include like uh, subconscious levels or or unconscious levels so emotions that we understand and can balance could be a cancer scorpio pisces wow we have our ten of cups as the challenge so receiving your ten of cups whoo Oh my goodness. Okay. We have um, the Four of Pentacles as the heart of the matter. This is regaining your power, building or investing into um, either your self-development or something that you're, you're wanting to put money into because it might be yours. It might be yours. Then in the past energy, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. So there was something that was just not done all the way. Like we didn't get to this milestone that we thought we were going to get to because we just ran out of steam or ran out of energy to put into some situation. That cancer, sorry about that. So what I was saying is not wanting to give energy anymore to a situation. To, you, you know you have to cut this off. You know you had to sever ties. 4-4 four, four, though, something was the right way to do something. <clears throat> present energy what is the present energy here for cancer it just seems like it was it was a, the right day i don't the right way sorry okay will of fortune it's in the reverse so i'm not sure if you're feeling like lucky or if you're not feeling lucky and that might be why it's in reverse what is the near future energy let's get that to cancer and we're gonna come back and clarify that And maybe it's representing something that didn't turn out really well for yourself right now. If you can think of something in the present that just didn't turn out very well. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. Okay, that's how you are feeling. You're feeling brave, adventurous, inspiring, intuitive, got money, prosperity, putting your uh, talent like on the forefront here so everybody can see how talented you are and being very inspiring while you're doing this. Maybe kind of reclusive at home, but nonetheless, um, getting recognition while you're out, getting fast results, achieving fast results, quite attractive energy too. Um, <clears throat> can we get a card for the external situation? All right, page of swords in the reverse. Something is a delay. There's something that's a delay. Maybe it is like what we thought was gonna be a good decision or good fortune. Maybe something is hinging on a decision and we might not have enough information. What's the hopes and fears for cancer? Hopes and fears to have enough strength maybe dealing with the Leo, the hope, the fear might be to not find this reservoir, like feeling like you just don't have the strength. Maybe it's because of this will of fortune in reverse in the present. So having to build or, or to dig deep and get from your reservoirs of courage to let go of some kind of heartache situation may have been third party with the three of swords. Let's look at the outcome or per projected outcome. Oh, good. We have the five of swords in reverse. And to me, that means that you have won a game or something that was called a game. I don't know if that's what you called it. Uh, but you are extremely focused and you take dominion over what is yours. And you do defeat uh, people that are in conflict with you. So, Cancer, it looks really good. Look, you're coming out of this energy of having to wait, wait, wait with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so we're coming out of that. We, we either we're losing our patience or the universe is helping us lose um, some of that, like getting ready for divine timing. That's what I'm trying to say, it's divine timing. Let's get the intuitive life coaching oracle now from... 
Oh, I don't know the author name. It's just, it's the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle from Amazon. <clears throat> I think I have it below. Okay, for Cancer, what do we have? Ooh, Natural Born Leader. You got 11. That's your destiny. That's something to do with your Dharma and your destiny. All right, Cancer, what do we have? We have obsession. So you're being really um, in your head over something. I don't know what this is that you may be leaning towards obsession. It says it's time to get out of your head and back into your heart. Maybe you were paranoid or coming up to judgments too soon, coming up to judgments too soon on something. Um, it says you're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who judge you. Natural born leader 11 has to do with your destiny. You're born to lead others and it's part of your life path. The void, we just have to be careful with the void. I didn't see this ace of wands pop out. When did it pop out? Wow, that's part of your outcome is a big brand new passionate beginning then. Ooh. Uh, be careful with this void energy. It says you may be covering up emptiness or pain through an addiction and, you know, any kind of negative um, attachment, anything that takes control over your life or your daily functions, like dictates how things are going to be for you that day. That's what I would say about that. <clears throat> All right. Now... Let's see, let's get some energy cards and then it's tea leaf cards and then we will wrap up your reading for you, Cancer. Good reading, all in all, good reading. Um, I am I'm probably going to clarify that Wheel of Fortune up there. I, I didn't clarify that. That is definitely something I wanted to clarify. And we'll clarify the outcome there a little bit too much. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Okay, about partnerships or caring connections. Maybe that's where the heartache is from. Queen of Swords on the bottom knows what to cut out, knows how to have a good target. I see target too in that Wheel of Fortune chariot taking action. It's time taking action um, either about a caring connection regarding a partnership. Could be regarding a partnership. Cancer, that's your energy. Having the magician is manifesting whatever it is that you want. So yeah, let's get the other tarot and let's see here the feather out okay so um what is this present day will of fortune in reverse about please spirit what is the will of fortune in reverse what is that about oh no too many i don't like it when it it just doesn't feel right when it comes out in big big like clumps of cards One more time, just to see anything else wants to come out for cancer. Is that it? Hierophant on the bottom. This is about a commitment. This is about a commitment. Taurus, po possibly. Heartache, maybe a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here, responsible, maybe Leo, since there's the sun in reverse. It's like you're not focusing on this person, or I feel like this card is representing how in the past, like you may have given a lot of energy to maybe a partnership with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, and something about that decided it, it just ended actually something about that ended because you stopped giving energy to this so i'm back so that was the cat of course so in the past yeah i feel like we withdrew this energy towards this either leo aries or sagittarius person we have queen of cups by the strength in reverse oh okay so okay <laughs> yep okay um gosh you're feeling the energy. You're feeling inspired, okay? You are feeling that support that you have from spirit. You're feeling support you have from your angels. Um, there might have been something about needing to find out information on this Leo 
or Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This person, I don't know if it's this person or if this is just another person here, but they use love, um, their expertise on as love, you know, as manipulation. So therefore, something just did not work out with this person. And the Ten of Swords says that it just got so bad that um, there's a complete rebirth now instead. And we have King of Wands. Interestingly enough, that makes a couple on our board. This is usually Leo. Very inspiring. It's the Builder. His working card would be upright. He would be busy working and building. And that is the change, is that something is actually going to be positively built. And that's the change. It's right by the scissor. Somebody might be cutting somebody out or cutting something out of their life. All right, let's get, um, let's get a guardian angel card. And then we're going to get some tea leaves for you. Got a few. Okay, the first one is believe. Angel of belief. Believe. Angel of Adventure, believe that there is new happiness and a new adventure here for you. And there certainly is. You're going to get see where in the past the sun was in reverse and it's not in reverse right here. Yeah, there's something you're going to be taking action on. There's like two and two. I see balance, focus, um, partnership working out, something you're manifesting that's building successfully, and it is the big change. This is the big change it's talking about <clears throat> regarding commitment or Taurus on the bottom of the deck. Okay, for our Cancers, what kind of tea leaves do you have, Spirit? And I'm not sure why the months come out. I never really get anything with them. We're just doing it like this. So if it has something meaning to you, good. If it doesn't, just, you know, well, yeah, my August, um, summer, August, Leo season, cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control, maybe from that void feeling. Then we have needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. <clears throat> If you believe, spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Goldfish, though, guys, that is so, um, that's so awesome. Goldfish is very, very lucky. Look at this. We've got two scissors here, scissor and scissors. Oh, wow. Okay, disappointment in some affair. The goldfish says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. And then we have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover, and tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance like that king of wands would do. And he would know that he would be successful, though, at whatever, whatever it is that they decide to pursue. <clears throat> okay, let's do um, some spellcasting cards, and then we'll close out your, close out your reading. <clears throat> spellcasting cards, please, for Cancer. Sorry about the mess, you guys. It is truly a card mess right now. <laughs> Justice coming out. Everything's going to be fair. Everything's going to be balanced. There will be these new beginnings. And there is a need, necessity, actually, to place boundaries where you think they need to go. These are your decisions. And um, it's kind of reminding you, look, blessings are coming in. Um, justice is coming in. The scales are being balanced. You need to have willpower to get through this situation. There's going to be some tough times, but ultimately everything is to empower yourself. Pay attention to small signs and symbols that might be inside your dreams. And then we have the blessings card and the truth right here. So absolutely beautiful cancer. I love it. I love it. Could be a Libra, could be a court situation. Everything here is balancing out and, and make sure you're paying attention to symbols in your dreams and also um, saying no when you really don't have time because you take care of you first. All right, guys. Thanks for um, joining me. Join me next time. Sending you much love and light. Bye, cancer.